Hey there, everybody, and welcome back. For those of you that are looking to learn about new no-code development platforms, I'm going to be walking through a new one, or I guess I should say rebranded one, called Movement, which can be accessed over at movement.so. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a walkthrough and first impression and cover basics like pricing, features, functionality, and then we'll basically try to rate it to see if it's something that may be a fit for you. So before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. All right, so jumping straight in, again, you can go over to movement.so. Now, if you're interested in signing up, there is an affiliate link you can check out. So if you head over to codelessfix.com, under About Us, there's an affiliate links section, and you can see the affiliate link right here. So basically, when you go through that affiliate link, I'll get a percentage of the revenue that is basically when you decide to pay for the platform but they do have a free tier and i know tons of people that watch this channel want to learn more about that so let's go through the website really quickly so you'll see that they have a couple of different types of apps that are going through so they rebranded from fitter previously so now this is a more comprehensive app building platform that is web-based so as we scroll through, you'll see different coaches and creators and brands that use the platform here. Then you'll see some different options here you have so you can scroll through. You'll see you have events, audio and video. You could do workouts, online courses, which are becoming increasingly popular. You have options for downloads. You have a community section. So there's a ton of different features, including messaging. So you can go through each of these if you're interested. And you'll see you can build an app. You'll see all the different options down here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the pricing and then we'll log into our account. So you'll see pricing. This section has a couple of options, annual and monthly. So if we were to go to monthly, you'll see we have base, pro and business for $49.99 and $2.99 respectively. And then I'll switch over to annual and then I'll go through the features. So you'll see it would be 39, 79 and 239 respectively. Now the primary differences before we cover the free tier is going to be you have everything in free, which I'll go over in a moment, but you'll have unlimited audio and video uploads. So this is really big if you want to have some kind of a platform where you're basically walking people through or teaching them or maybe you want to have uh, some kind of like a fitness platform. You have private access, one-on-one -on -one messaging, a thousand active members included, and a transaction fee of 2.5%. And then when you upgrade, you'll get things like removing branding, group chat, Zapier integration, custom domains, which are coming soon, push campaigns, and then you'll see you get the same thousand active members and 2.5% transaction fee. And then for the business option, you'll see you also get reporting, API access, app store listings included, which would be very big if you want to get this built as a mobile app and not just a web app. And then once more, the thousand active members and 2.5% transaction fee. Now, when we scroll down, let's take a look at the free plan because most people want to see if their app idea is going to take off before they actually pay for something. So in the free plan, you can build your app, sell digital products, and engage 100 active members completely free. So you'll be able to build your web app, as you can see here. You'll have 100 active members, three video and audio uploads, and a 15% transaction fee. Then you have additional options. If you're interested, you can contact the sales team if you feel you want to do so. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and go to our dashboard. Basically, if you log in, you can go to the sign in option and then there will be a sign up and you can sign up with some basic information. I have not added any payment information, so this is completely free. So you'll see we have our dashboard, which is where you would normally see uh, your subscribers, sales, revenue, downloads, etc. So you'll see you can have some advanced ish reporting options here. Now let's go to our create tab. So going through the application itself. So I chose a default or very basic template and I haven't edited anything yet. So right now it's just going to show codeless fix and then you'll see you have the ability to edit everything here. So it's showing as it would appear as essentially a mobile, uh, kind of like a mobile web app. So if we go click the preview button, you'll see you can scan to preview on your device 
or you can see it in this mobile preview here, which is really cool. And this is the branding you can remove if you upgrade your account. Now, if you want, we'll go over the options on the right hand side in just a moment. But the idea here is we have our home screen. So let's try to edit these things a little bit. So if you want, you can move this just by hovering your mouse over and putting it over this move icon. So let's say we want to delete this. We can just click delete. And now this save and publish option will basically become visible. Now, if we decided we wanted to edit this, we could say something like welcome. And then you'll see we, it says browse the best workouts of the year. And then there are some workouts here. And if you want, you have options to save, you can duplicate. Um, so you'll see if we click the duplicate option, it duplicates this little slider here. So if we go down here, we can delete the duplicated slider. And then if we're scrolling through, because it doesn't look like it wants to delete, so let's try saving this real quick. All right, so we'll go down to this slider option here. You'll see we can now delete. And then what we're going to do is we're going to remove everything and start from a completely blank page. So we'll delete all of these options. Although it is nice to have a bunch of different options by default, it makes it much easier to go through the process of just editing as opposed to trying to find every single individual component. So we're going to remove all of these and we'll see what we can do with basically just what's left. All right, so you'll see when you've finished everything and we click add block, over here, you'll have all of the different options that you can add. So you'll have a save section, you can add text, and you can choose the different heading and style. So if we choose large heading, it'll be added and we'll just type in something like welcome. Then you can edit all of the formatting and fonts over here on the right hand side. Then if we decided we wanted to have, let's say some kind of content. So you'll see these are the scrolling objects that we had previously. So we have vertical and horizontal. I personally prefer the horizontal style. So when we click it, it's added at the very top and we can just drag it by clicking on this little piece here and then moving it beneath our welcome text. Now at this point, you have the option to save and there is an ungroup option as well. So when you click on these blocks here, you'll see you have add content or show dynamic content. So you have a couple of options that are by default. So you'll see we have the ability to show programs, workouts, etc. And then right here, we can click add content. So this is where you're going to pick what actually shows up in that little, uh, that basically that horizontal scroll. So these are some default options like this workout, for example. So we can click add, add, add. And then when we close this, you'll see those three workouts have been added. And if we click preview, we won't see the updates posting just yet. So we'll have to click save and publish. Then when we click preview, we will see that we have these three workouts that are in this slider right here and the welcome text up top. So that's working so far. So now let's try to add in another block and see what else we can do. So if you want, you could add in a video, select your video, and then it'll be added down here. And then you can click on the video. You can choose a custom image and it looks like they have integrations with Unsplash and Pexels or you could just pick any of these options as well if you're interested. And then you can replace the video by going through YouTube or Vimeo or looking at any of these default options. And it actually looks like you also have the option to upload videos as well. So if you wanna have more premium content that only people can see if they have access to your app, that is also an option. So now we'll scroll through and look at a couple of others. So we do have an audio section here. So if you wanted to add in something, uh, whatever you decide that you want it to be, you can have that added in and then you can try to figure out how you want this displayed to make the appearance 
just kind of work a little bit better. So if we click this item and we click the up button, it will allow you to move it without having to use this uh, drag icon here. And then we're gonna scroll to the bottom of our app, click add block, and then look at some of the other options. So you'll see we have some icons here we can work with. We have feeds where you can choose when we select the option, you'll see you can choose the text where it says community feed and then join the community. And then there's a chat block and you can see all of the elements that you can edit there. So you can edit really whatever it is that you need to related to the title, what we'll call the description essentially. And then you have the ability to save and ungroup. So to show you what ungroup does, We'll click it real quick and you'll see now we have the title, this block, and then the actual feed portion separate from each other. So that makes it a little bit easier to manage if you're interested or if you don't like the look or appearance. And we're gonna add in another block. We're gonna go to feeds and we'll go to group chat. So you'll see you have a couple of options and they show that they are all available for pro. So if you select them, you'll get this upgrade now option. So we're going to avoid those for now and skip over to PDFs. So you have your PDF download option if you're interested, which would give you the ability to have an attachment and select a file for others to download. Or if you're interested, there's another download option you can choose, which looks a little bit more appealing in my opinion. So let's delete this one. And then you'll see lastly, we have a map and then there are other elements as well. So going through a quick high level overview, this does give you the ability to share communities with different people. You do have the ability to add in multiple pages as well. So if we click save and publish, you'll have the ability to do a preview or scan to preview on your device. You'll see we have these scrolling menus. We have the ability to add in videos, audio, eBooks. You'll see it looks very visually appealing. And then we have these pages by default for scheduling, for messages, and then basically like a My Account page. So you have the ability to click on pages and see all of the pages here. And if you decide, I don't want this, you can click Remove from Navigation. And if you want to edit the page, then you would basically just go through the process like we just did. So you can rename it here if you're interested. And then you can click on each page to see more details, manage the schedule, or whatever it is that you actually want to do. So now if we were to go and we've already saved our changes, if you want to add a new page, you can select it here, and you can choose from tons of different options, sales, blog, testimonial. As you can tell, most of these are basically your generic templates. So you can use these templates and then work through essentially whatever it is you need to do by building out that content a little bit more. And then lastly, we'll go through, so we have a couple of other options. So we have an engage section. So you'll see you have push, downloaded, inactive, all the different subscriptions. So this is kind of like your CMS platform. So you can click add member here and add their information. You can run different campaigns, check messages, manage integrations. And then you have a sell option to manage the different products. So this allows you to build your digital platform, so to speak. And then lastly, you'll see that we have the option under preview to publish. Now, you have different options as far as where you can actually publish this application to. So you can choose from quite a few different options. All right, so let's go ahead and view this as a web app. So we have a share option here, and you'll see we have a copy link. So we'll go into a new tab and we'll just paste this in and click enter. So you'll see we have our web app here, which obviously we haven't edited the content, so we'll need to edit and adjust that a bit. But then you have an option here to download app, and we'll just click install. And you'll see we are actually now running this as a web application. So it looks like an actual computer app that's expanded, 
but it is actually running in your browser. So users are going to have a mobile app-like experience, although they're actually running this in a web browser, which you'll notice when you're running these on mobile devices, often it'll look just like an app as well. So it gives you the option to have what looks and feels like a full application. And you'll see here we can open in Chrome, and then this would be the actual web page itself. And if you remember, you can go to the pricing page to look up custom domains and things like that. But giving you the basic rundown of this application, so it is a great way for those of you that are looking to not only build an app, but build a brand. So if you're looking to become a creator, whether you wanna build applications for people in the fitness industry and you wanna have your own content, whether you're a streamer, any time you need to have an application where you need to get started for free because app building is not cheap, this is a great platform to get started. It'll make it really easy for you to build something, host it online, share it with people, and then if it gets to a point where you start getting a lot of traction, you have the ability to grow into new plans instead of having to start with a paid plan from scratch. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below. Again, you can check out the affiliate link section. I'll have the link in the description as well if you're interested in signing up with my code. Again, I will receive a financial bonus for that. So if you enjoyed or if you have any questions, just let me know your thoughts down below and I'll see you all in the next video.